there, we got it there. We boom, and we still rolling there. We look good. Oh snap! Look at that. Oh, 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 oh! We got the shirt. Let's one time. We got. <laughs> I didn't know that's the part we wasn't saying. I, all we we're saying. Okay. Anyway, anyway, what's up, people? Oh. This is CCX TV Service Comics. I am the Optimist, King Lemur, and we're coming back to you with another video. This might not be a full, complete video because we're we're doing sporadic things. You know, we're trying to trying to just create content where we just have stuff to post for y'all. So there might not be a formal ending. There may be a formal ending, but we'll try to hit y'all with that if we decide that we want to do that. So, what you want to talk about today? First of all, what we're going to talk about first, which they're probably staring at, trying to figure out what's going on. As you can see, we have some new shirts. <sighs> oh yeah, look at that. Look at nice. Look, look at that Vulcan nice. right there. We know you've seen this symbol before in the most recent. This Dark is uh, in the back. Oh this yeah. This is the condo symbol. Yes, sir. This is the Vulcan symbol. That's all I'm saying on that. No questions. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So roll into it. Um, uh, so I did a poll earlier this week on who uh, everybody wanted to know some more information about. And out of all the votes, it was for Ian, Nia, or more Kamau or Zay. So the person who got the most votes is Ian. That's crazy. Yeah. You want to know why that's crazy is because when I did the poll on mine, it was like, who do you like more? And I did it out of Nia and Zay. Mm -hmm. And every, I think it was like 70 or 80% Nia. And then out of Kamau and Ian, it was like 70 some percent Kamau. Really? Yeah. Well, granted, granted, I think, uh, I think I crossed out Kamau. But people still, some people still voted for me. Right, right. <laughs> but um, most of it was between the other three. Right, so right. Because of three. course we see a lot of Kamau anyway. So. And I gave a lot of information on Kamau. So so far, yeah. Uh, just to roundabout, give some information on uh, Kamau. Uh, Ian. Ian. <laughs> Damn. So. Ian is, um, he resides in condo just like uh, Kamal does, but Ian's out on the outside of condo, the part that was kicked out uh, by Nasur. If you don't so know, you might want to go back and like explain some of that. Like, hey, for, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Okay, I'm just saying because some people they yeah. might have seen, might not yeah. have seen the last. So, episode. if you don't know who Nasur is, we just actually uh, revealed uh, some uh, concept art of Nasur. In our uh, recent images, you can get check out. Concept art. Well, yeah, not concept art, but they don't have the full body yet. True. We have a headshot like of Nasur. Teaser. Teaser, yeah. And uh, so you can check out either one of our pages at King Optimus CCX on Instagram, uh, at King Lemur. We both have the image up there. Um, that's or we might put it on the screen. Like, right. He won't do it. <laughs> um, yes, anyway, I will. <laughs> anyway oh, I'm uh, gonna do it especially now that you said that. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, Nasur is our antagonist of uh, Dark Vulcan, and basically uh, the premise is that Kondo, as was pretty much this one prosperous nation that was pretty much taken over, the the leadership was overthrown by Nasur. And he pretty much kicked all of the natives out of the out of the nation. That's and they're like familiar. living on the outside. Sounds familiar. Does sound familiar. Hmm. Moment of silence for America. Anyway. <laughs> Pause. Okay. Hashtag no politics. <laughs> I have no shame. Um, anyway. Me neither. So don't get me started. <laughs> Ian is, uh, so basically as of the start of Dark Walking, all of those events started 15 years before the start of the story. It's the, the 16. <laughs> the reason I, I keep like saying 15 it. people is because it was 15 for 80% of this storage production and then one day we just decided 16. That's not true. So, that's a lie. 
a lie. Kamala's been 16 this whole time. Nah, that age changed at least three times. No. Moving forward, 16 years. So, the events take place 16 years uh, before uh, the start of Dark Woken. So, Ian was pretty much just a baby when all of this started. And so he's, his family, along with everyone else in Kondo, was kicked out to the outside. And so, Ian, being who he is, it, I guess the, the best way to describe him is probably the, the comic relief of the story. I think we said that once before. Right. But he's the comic relief of the story. And he's actually probably, hold on, let me go through the list in my head. He's probably the most powerful one out of everybody you've all seen, scratching out in the sword, being the antagonist. But right. Ian is absurdly powerful. Uh, he's like Jerry. Similar. Like if, if we want to put it on a scale of comparing him to everybody else, that Ian will probably be the Jiren of his crew, which says a lot, you know. Um, he has, as far as abilities, I'll go into that in a minute, but he has a, uh, he has a lot of confidence in himself because of that. So, Tones. he'll be, uh, you will not, not, you will not, 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 you will not, not, not. you, you won't ever see Ian not confident about anything. Ever. Yeah, he's pretty. He's pretty strategic. Not um, sound like as far as I know, we went a lot about Kamala's powers, but I did want to go over the fact that uh, there is a lot of like. There's going to be a lot of martial arts, like in the sense of it's not going to be like too much in the DBZ realm of martial arts, and it's not going to be the watered down like physical combat of like Naruto per se. And it's funny because somebody asked me that on oh, Instagram. Really? They was like, "So is it more uh, geared towards uh, martial arts or using their powers, or is it it's a balance a, of both?" It's a uh, it, it, it the, in theory, it's pretty much a mixture of both. There's gonna be a lot of physical combat that is mixed in with their powers because growing. Growing up as Dragon Ball Z being our first like drive for the story, uh, the the just throwing hands matters. Like I don't think you will People, see weapons that's like un, swords. And, that's underrated. It, it really just is the, the 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 martial arts aspect because some people. Like uh, the beams are fine and dandy, but like when you you're expected it and you see it all the time, like oh they're gonna throw two commandments at each other, da da da. Mm -hmm. And at, at one point, Dragon Ball Z got so boring because that's all it was about. Yeah. And you know, after Dragon Ball Z was over, and we remember we had never seen Dragon Ball. We never had went back to see Dragon oh, Ball. Oh man, Dragon Ball. And then to so go boring. back and see Dragon Ball and see all of the. The, the martial arts and all the other stuff. The it was techniques freaking. they were using. Yes. After image, man. And yeah. it, and, and it, it harkens skills. back. It harkens back to, um, is that a word? Anyway, it goes back to also like uh, the beginning of Naruto, like a bunch of like what they were doing. Like, yeah, like, right. Like when Rock Lee was introduced, like he changed everything for like Naruto and Sasuke and like oh, stuff yeah. like when they, when so when Naruto and Sasuke really fought for the first time mm -hmm. in, the, in the valley, that fight like really matters. Like that was a real fight. That's like the mix between powers and like martial arts combat. So right. it would feel a lot of the combat. I would say would feel more like the first Naruto and Sasuke fight in the valley. Um, it was just but as far as Ian himself, he is. Well, before I go on, Ian himself is martial arts. Kondo itself. Uh, Throughout history in the story, they were a passive nation, which is why they were so easy to be overthrown. Yes. They were pretty passive. They, the leader at that time did not believe that violence was the answer due to the innate abilities that Condonians have. I'll go more on that in the future. Can't really go fully on that right now, but Condonians have a very unique power and I guess the the, sh the Cliff Notes version of that is is a lot of uh, spiritual energy that they can manipulate and 
it depends all of their spiritual energy it's not like generic kind of how like bleach did it it's kind of technical in a way like what's whatever's within your spirit will kind of determine what kind of powers or abilities you have so it just depends on what kind of person you are and the kind of person ian is he's very wise he reads a lot he studies a lot of history because he's determined to flip everything upside down so what he did ultimately is create Kondo's first fighting style using their spiritual energy and he's teaching that he, to yeah and he had he basically has a school of kids that he's teaching mind you because there's not a lot of the people of Kondo that's on the outside mm -mm, not a lot of them on the left yeah after 16 years of poorness <laughs> a lot of people either died out to starvation crime or just the simple oppression let's just kill them because we can't type of stuff you know a lot of them should be in a prison too though. yes there are a lot and I, I think I said that in a lot another video thanks for bringing that up mm -hmm. a lot of them a lot of condonians uh, especially the more important ones they're they've been in prison Some of the strongest ones. the strongest <laughs> ones, yeah they though the ones that couldn't be killed are being in prison and that's one thing that's uh gonna play a very important part later on but ian's basically the role model he's so big brother down <laughs> ian's like big brother to everybody he um but the I, I guess the most unique part about ian is the fact that he goes through these visions these uh i guess you could say this trance-like state where he sees the beginning well he sees past present or future events in no particular order and he's doing all of this studying and researching on the past on mythology to figure out what goes where so now, that how, how old is he in, to put this in perspective to in the characters Ian's like 17 at the beginning of the story. So he's he's much older than the rest of them. Uh, I mean by a year? Well, yeah, I guess you got a point. Yeah, by a year. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm thinking about, older, what? what? I'm thinking about other stuff. Yeah, so Ian's 17. Uh, so he's basically big brother. He's pretty much well composed. Who, who would you, like, who would you compare Ian to? As far like as personality as wise, or just as a Ian's a unique personality. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's almost like a mixture of, like, it's kind of weird because if like Jiren and All Might were in the same body, Jiren and All Might, that's disgusting. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's disgusting. But All that's. Might. Ballad. I can. I that's can that's that. just the first thing that came to my mind. I was like, Ian, we haven't drawn him that way because <laughs> I'm trying to get everybody to see how cool of a character he is. Because he can of be both. He's, yeah, right. He can be both. It's like yeah. one moment he can be Todoroki, and the next moment he could be he could be Bakugo. The next moment. That was your way to say Bakugo. It's <laughs> weird. <laughs> Would that make him bipolar? Yeah, I think I'm a. I'm think I'm gonna put him as bipolar. He's not the one you should put as bipolar, but okay. Oh, <laughs> inside joke. You guys will figure that one out later. That's um, creative. But that's creative joke right there. Right. <laughs> um, but yeah. So another thing you'll probably see this symbol a lot, a lot on many of the characters. And this uh, is Kondo. the Kondo Nation. Um, and you'll also. That's something like. Something this is the condonation. 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 Condo. Anyway, go ahead. That sounds like a word already. Isn't con con condonation? Con 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 ah, whatever. Anyway. Let's go, Condo. You done there? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, I forgot my life over We're here. going over. Okay, so Condo, uh, you'll see the symbol a lot because uh, a lot of the uh, events in the store are going to take place in Condo. I will say this now. It's not always going to be in Kondo. Things will... Events happen so fast and things will shift. You're not... 
you're gonna just see conduct there's about actually there's a handful of other nations that will be introduced and that's all I'm gonna say on that but the war on condo is gonna be our beginning Slick shit. <laughs> I'm working on these. I'm working on these uh, developer answers, the ones that you can't say, but you can say. Like me personally, being the story writer, I can say what I want. Technically, because we have no say to. Right, but anyway, it's amazing. Don't you guys your own boss? <laughs> when you're your own, your when you're your own boss, it's just like, like y'all. Okay, y'all don't understand. I'm so excited about this story. Anybody who like watched like the the WonderCon panel earlier this year with DC, I'm personally like the Scott Snyder. I want to tell y'all the whole story. I think Scott Snyder's spoiled like eighty percent. Would it be, would it be crazy, crazy <laughs> like if we spoiled most of the story, but then we delivered on it and people still enjoyed it because it was that dope? Of a story. I would love that. But the only thing <laughs> is, we don't have the the crew to get it done fast enough so it can come. Not only that, I do. We do have to account for the people who don't like spoilers. That is true. Yes, and the element of surprise is so strong. Yeah. So we're gonna bring you the dopest, the dopest black manga, anime, comic ever, and and story wise art and art wise. The goal is to deliver. I'm, I'm doing my best to deliver the story. Um, it is going to, it's a, it's a story story. So, you know, it's, it's not always going to have combat at every single turn because there's not everybody's fighting every day. So it's not going to be like Dragon Ball. What Ball would game. you say, what would you expect without giving anything away? What would you expect from the people that's probably going to see the first book? From the first the combined, book, the combined one from one and two. Well, what I would think, I think that is going to get everyone pretty well adjusted to who are the like how the characters are personality wise, and I can guarantee you by the end of book one, I don't want to say the word guarantee. I am extremely. Confident. Hopeful, but ex also extremely confident that by the end of book one, that everybody's going to want book two. That is my statement on that. If you don't, by the time this book releases, we'll give you book two for free. One, yes, you will get book two for free. No, don't say that. Because some people, <laughs> some people come back to me like, hey, I hate it. it. I said, he said, he said give me the it. book. It's right here in the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. If you don't, I would I would personally prefer to know why. Because I want to make it we'll take I do want to, I do want to have feedback. I do want to make it better. You can bring on the trolls, you can bring on. But I also will say this. Although I am willing to uh, accept the feedback and make adjustments here and there to make the story overall better. It is still going to be our story. And by that, I mean I'm not going to go through and change this, the way things are done too drastically because at the end, unless it's like super high in demand by everybody. Because Overall, it's it had to be. A I'm making the story 100%. right. Uh, I'm making the story for the people who enjoy the story. But at the same time, if you're not telling a story that you enjoy to tell, what's the point of telling the story? Exactly. So, as far as the story itself, I'm not. I'm not going to change aspects of the story for everyone because I feel like every character has their path. But, 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 as we nice said books. in earlier videos, did, I don't, did we post that video? At, in earlier videos, we did state Probably not. the possibility, and if we didn't release this video. Oh, you talking about the characters getting their own thing? No, 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 no. I was going to bring that up. But go ahead. <laughs> um, we will uh, actually have certain events every now and then 
that we will pause everything. We will release a, a poll or a statement that will basically ultimately give you all, the fans, the readers, the opportunity, the opportunity to, to vote on the direction that the story goes next. And that will come with when, whenever there's like really big decisions that need to go, that needs to happen in the story. Mm -hmm. Not every single one, but certain ones I'm, I'm willing to see what the fans would prefer. Because mentally, I know the direct, I know where I would take the story in multiple different choices. So I, I find it fun to give the fans or the readers that kind of control. I think that's a, I think that's unique to any kind of manga or superhero comic to have the fans have a, a say in it. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. 